if you had to pick between two, we're going we gonna to have a deeper conversation about this. I think it's very interesting. You know what I mean? It's something to kind of dig deep and make us do homework and go back and re-listen and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, Dwee just mentioned to me that Purple Tape. Criminology, nigga. Criminology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, purple Tape. But I was going to give it his props. Like, you could say Purple Tape and everybody know what you're talking about. But because that was like, I think that was the first edit of his time, like to, to do a different color cassette tape, right? Yeah, I believe so. Red Hip -hop. Did it yeah, Redman like, did it after. He no, follows who? Redman did it first. Redman Red was Redman came out in ninety three, right? Ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah, Redman came out in ninety two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only built came out in ninety five. Ninety five. Yes. Yeah. So that was a amazing project. But that right? wasn't the name of it. People it started calling it that. Cuban, yeah, only built for Cuban Links is the name. Yeah, of nobody. The they, album. they didn't roll it out as the purple tape. Nah, they did. But that the, the hood. <laughs> the consensus from yeah. the hood. So that shows yeah. you the. All right. <laughs> that shows you how great of a project it is. So what's the best song on that album? Man, I got so many favorites, man. I mean, like I said, like I could just go through the play, like Criminology, Incarcerated Scarface, uh -huh. Rainy Days, uh -huh. Can It All Be So Simple, uh -huh. Ice Water, uh -huh. like Glaciers of Ice. Like it's just so many classics on verbal intercourse. There we go. Sports Rushes, like Heaven and Hell. It's too many gems on this album that it, it's going to take a hell of an album to even be in the same I, comparison. Like I, we could debate shit, but. Yeah. We Certain shit we can't debate. Like, this is one of the best. You was naming them, man. Yeah. You was naming Hold them joints, Hold on, Jay. No, no, no. See, he just, he just won you over with that. He named all the joints. I ain't, Before I even got to say what the other album is. So. It don't matter. The, <laughs> unless you're going to say that. Unless you're going to say the infamous. Hold on. No, 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 no. I ain't even got to go there. I'm saying in his own camp. Because he's the, 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 the argument is like, yo, I don't believe. I think. Ghost is better than Ray, or how you think he? Yeah, I have like, Ray slight, slight edge. Better. I have he Ray slight, slight edge. Ray the slight edge of a ghost. All right, I have so. Ray, Ghost, Deck, Meth, Cap, Rizza. Yeah, Rizza. Yeah, Rizza yeah. in there. Wow. Yeah, I got that's a that's my six. You skip dirty. Damn. I got dirty up there, but it's, I'm talking about bars, lyrics, and all, all right, that type of shit. Like the right, niggas right. are clean, dirty up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. So, so the other album that I said. Jay, that I think can compete with the purple tape sonically and timeless wise is Supreme Clientele. Supreme Clientele. He told me no way in hell. Mm -mm. Who? Three. No way in hell that that album could the compare. The only reason I'm saying that is because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dope album, but the way I judge timeless music is the replay value. If I ask a nigga like, what? yo, when the last time you listened to this album? Like, I I listened to the Purple Tape like two days ago. I listened to the Infamous album today. Yes. So the replay value, like, I love Supreme Clientele. I love Iron Man, but mm -hmm. I don't continuously go back to those joints. I go back to the Purple Tape because, like I said, those songs I named are classics, my nigga. You, you yes. know what's crazy about that? Ghostface. He has an interview when he's talking about the joint, and he's like, "Yo, he felt that that wasn't his best." You know what I'm saying? Like what? The, Which the one? First, the first album. It wasn't. Iron Man was yeah. fire too. It was fire. Yeah. But Supreme Clientele. That's the album Jay talking about. He said that he yeah. felt like that was that was his first release. Supreme Clientele was his was first. Second? No, it was the second album. Iron, Iron Man, Man was first. first? Yes. Oh yeah. Iron yes. Man Daytona 500, Motherless Child. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, other joints on there. Um, damn, man, I forgot that album was tough, my nigga. But it's like to follow up only built for Cuban links, it's tough, my nigga. Like, those are like it's a few joints I have in that spectrum, like only only built for Cuban links, Illmatic, The Infamous, Reasonable Doubt, Ready to Die. It's like those certain albums, like the first release. Mm -hmm. That are epic, where like you could go back and just listen to them shits now. And we in 2024, and niggas ain't rapping on that level. Mm. Like go listen to go listen to um only built four Cuban links right now for who, anybody who watching this. Like niggas ain't even rapping on this level. When I'm talking from rapping to the skits to the production to everything else yes. to the to the fucking title of the songs was amazing. Yes, these yes. niggas was coming up with some other shit. 
<laughs> yeah, that's when we're gonna have to we gonna have to really sit down. What the fuck is know. verbal intercourse? That's that that's the best song on that album. But what I'm saying is, how do you even come up with some shit like that? Oh well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the name, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. come here, baby. This verbal intercourse. <laughs> what? what? What's that? <laughs> verbal intercourse? <laughs> like I'm about to lyrically fuck you up. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. <laughs> like we gotta, like you gotta look, up, you gotta pull the layers back. Like this is one of those ones, man. And I was in middle school listening to this shit, walking to school every day listening to this shit. So yeah, that's a fact. It was just a different time, man. That's different a fact. time. That album, like I, I said, go. I respect Ghost, but I give Ray a slight edge because of this album and because of um the first Wu album where Ray was dancing. <laughs> Ray was dancing. But see, but here's the difference as to why I don't give Ray all that credit is because Ghost, that's why they both on the cover. It was really a compilation album between the both of them. No, wasn't? Ray had a budget. They gave Ray a deal. Ray had uh -huh. the budget. Yeah. They said, we going to give you a solo album. Uh -huh. Ray said, I'm calling my brother in to assist me yes. on this project. And he gave him some of the bread. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. He, he didn't have to, he didn't have to say come fuck with me with this. He didn't yeah. have, he didn't have to. He could have just went and did his own solo project. He said, "Nah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the advance." And he gave Go some of the bread. Three ready to fuck the whole second hour to show up, nigga. Nah, we nah yeah, we can, we can like, move on. I'm just saying, do the knowledge, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge, guy. <laughs> My Fred Joe Star voice, man. <laughs> Do the knowledge, nigga. Yo, we got to, we gonna revisit that because I'm looking at Iron Man. I don't even think that the the purple tape is really that much better. So we're gonna do we gonna Iron do a versus Man. Iron Man versus, versus the purple tape. Uh, oh, right, we're gonna so do a versus. I'm gonna I'm 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 take the handicap, and we can do that. We can do, do that. Yo, yo, this is what that, I'm saying. How are you trying to take his week? solo joint over his joint? With another swordsman, yo, it's, yo, how? You, yo, it's both of them on that joint. This is what I'm saying. But it's superior to his solo joint. No, it's not, man. Yo, I don't know, man. Yo. Oh my god! Look at Jay. I, I hear don't what know you're what doing you doing over there, Jay. I hear what you're doing over there. I don't know what this nigga been drinking, yo, nah, man. But that purple, we, that we purple can, tape was different, can, my nigga. Can, not, don't get me wrong, it was. That shit was different. The sound, everything, my nigga, was different, my nigga. It came before that pause, so it gotta be <laughs> like, yeah. come on! Oh man, I would love to get Jay in this on this debate, man. Word the mother, like that'll be a good one. It won't be as easy as you think. I'm telling you, the the album. Don't get me wrong, Supreme Clientele was a great project. They put it together well, like you said, the skits, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Iron Man had the same thing, and he had Rizzo on production too. And he had a lot of sneaky joints on there. He'd be like, yo. Heaven and hell. That one was me. Like, like, heaven and hell. Criminology. For heaven and hell. Verbal intercourse. All I, got for you, all I got is you. Verbal intercourse. You got after the smoke is clear. Nah. Them shits don't line Daytona up. Daytona 500. Criminology. That shit ain't what? better than criminology. What? I ain't. That shit ain't better than verbal intercourse. Verbal intercourse is one of the best fucking hip hop tracks of all time. Yeah, it is. You got three of the best MCs it on is. a crazy beat. Yeah. And fucking Nas opened that shit up marvelously. Like, come on, man. Like, it just got like if you break down the program, it just got too much going on with it. Like it, it was one of it was one of a kind. It was a one of a kind project, man. Like, even with the infamous, like the infamous could go up against any hip hop album, solo, duo, group. Whatever the yeah. production is crazy, yeah. the lyrics is crazy, the flow is crazy, the skits is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just staying the test of time. Yeah. 